Well, howdy. Howdy, 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 howdy. Today, we are going to attempt to change the capacitor on our Comfort Pro APU. We had a problem with the sleeper not receiving any 110 volt or 120 volt power from the generator. So I made some calls and talked to some people and everybody I've talked to seems to think it's the capacitor went out. The first thing we checked was the breakers on the APU. Yeah. That's the first thing we always check because yeah. it does have a breakers that can trip and that has happened in the past. But when he checked, they weren't tripped. So then we had to kind of narrow down to figure out what the issue was. Right. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is our setup. Yours could be completely different. Uh, the generator supplies electricity to the sleeper. Now, when that power comes into the sleeper, it comes to this circuit breaker right here. Now, if you see this cable right here, this was wired into this breaker. Now the problem with this breaker is our shore power goes into this breaker right here. So this being wired into it as well, the problem we, one of the problems we were having was when we plugged up to shore power and turned the breaker on at the shore power box, it was sending a surge of electricity into this, but since the generator was connected to it. It was sending a surge back down through this cable, comes out here and goes to the generator, which keep, kept tripping the breaker. I hate this fix right here, having this cable all out like that, but it was a quick fix. I will be getting by the generator place and having them fix this, either replace this whole cable with one long enough so it can go route back and up and around and down through the top, but it works for now. This is your shore power breaker. This is your generator breaker. They both have two different elect electricities. And for those of you who don't know, we have a double A sleeper. So yeah. it could be different if you have a bolt sleeper, yeah, a, yeah. a ICT sleeper, yeah. or, well, not ICT, they don't even make sleepers anymore. Yeah. ARI sleeper, yeah. but that's our setup. Yeah, that's our setup. It was definitely a mishap from the, the generator installer company. Um, I have fixed that problem, but I think the problem had already created other problems in there. So we're gonna change the capacitor. It's super easy. I gotta blank it down so I don't get wet. It looks super easy, I like to say. This right here is our capacitor. So it's just one bolt right here should take off the, the mounting bracket. It does come with a new mounting bracket and a bolt and some quick connects. This is this. Also comes with some shrink tube quick connects. And we'll leave the part number for this in the description if anybody is looking to get the part. We just stopped by a carrier and picked this up. Now there are what three or four different capacitors so you got to know which one you need but the one that we need for our generator we'll leave the part number down below for you guys. Oh, I love when you pick the, the right size the first time. This is a half inch wrench. We are gonna loosen. So it looks like you will need two half inch wrenches to be able to reach around on the back side to be able to hold that. It's never as easy as it's supposed to be. I don't know why they didn't put this nut on the other side. Now, you could take this bottom housing off and it will give you a lot more hand room to be able to get this, but I didn't feel like doing that because it is kind of a pain in the butt. I think it's more of a pain in the butt to get it back on than it is off. There we go. 
Now, when I talked to the generator install company, they said it does not matter which wire is connected to which, but we got a blue and a brown, and we got a blue and a brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up the same exact way. Blue over here, brown over here. It does come with new wire connects, and I do believe these are shrink tubes, so you put the wires in, crimp it down, and then use like a lighter to shrink this up to create an air airtight seal. Now I'm gonna leave these connections on there and strip the ends of these two wires so I know which one I'm connecting to. Give those a little bit of a twist. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the connectors on this end. Slide the cable in there. Give that a nice crimp down. My next wire connector. Now those got a nice water seal connection so water won't get inside and corrode those wires. Now I'm going to connect the uh, other ends. Now, before I'm mounting this back up there, I'm gonna have Heather go in and start the generator, and we're gonna make sure this is working properly. We have electricity. Now, all I need to do is remount this capacitor where it was before and kind of zip tie up these lines out of the way so it don't interfere with anything. When you buy a new capacitor, it does come with a new mounting ring. It does not come with an extra screw, but it does come with a new nut. So we'll, we'll be using the new nut. I'll be putting this in from the back side so I can uh, ratchet the nut on instead of ratcheting the, ratcheting the screw. So yeah, this would be a lot easier if you just take off the housing. I just did not feel like taking this whole thing off. Now one thing I just noticed is we got our fuel filter housing right here or our fuel filter so we got to make sure we leave enough room to be able to get that fuel filter off when we do do our maintenance so be, make sure before tightening it all the way down you make sure you slid forward a little bit got plenty of room to get our fuel filter off i'm gonna go ahead and tighten her down
All right, we got our uh, wires tucked up, zip tied nice and out of the way and away from any moving parts. Still have access to our breaker button. That should be good. That was it. That's it. Here's the old one that's yep. going in the trash. Yep. I was gonna, the part number, I'm gonna give y'all right now, I'll put it on the screen and down below, but it is 40-S20-92K. That's for our model generator. This yep. is the, one of the newer Comfort Pros. 2019, so if you're watching this video in 2030, <laughs> they may be different. They may have a new part. Yeah, but I think that was one of the easier fixes you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah super easy i think the reason that thing went bad was because they wired it up to the shore power breaker yeah and every time we were turning the shore power uh on while we were plugged up at rv parks we would hear this loud noise come from the generator yeah. like a like what surge a, of electricity like a transformer like blowing. a transformer blowing yeah. or something like that and we didn't know what it was at first that did it like twice so and then each of those times i had had to trip the breaker on the the generator to get everything to turn back on well after so many times i'm i'm pretty positive it just blew that that uh just fried it just fried it yep so hope that you guys like this video hope it helps you out um there's not a lot of stuff out there on these comfort pros mm -hmm. so that's why we do these videos uh to help people out i know that a bunch of our older comfort pros um Video. videos they still get views to this day and oh, they're yeah. like two three years old yeah. and people oh my gosh your video just saved me i'm in <laughs> 100 degree weather and uh, my air conditioner wasn't working and this fixed it and thanks so much so hopefully this video does the same yep. if it does give it a like yeah and so, just to let you know one quick thing this was 70 dollars for the capacity 77 dollars yeah yeah with yeah. tax yeah with tax yep yeah so all right, awesome. that's all we got. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. You. You. Stop breaking down. <laughs>